Within the online community, many creators become so large that it seems impossible for them to fail, garnering millions upon millions of loyal fans who obsessively support anything they do. Which brings us to the fascinating case of Wilbur Soot, who has recently faced some severe allegations, leading to him losing a quarter of a million followers across social media, leading many to wonder what happened. But before we dive into these accusations, we need to explore how he became so massively popular. After getting his start on the meme reaction channel Soot House, he eventually abandoned that project to pursue his own solo career. This game is fun, but I hate my parents. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he became involved in the immensely popular Dream SMP server, befriending other rising stars in the community such as Tommy Init and Dream himself. If that wasn't enough, he also began to pivot into music. And unlike most of his contemporaries, he was actually pretty good, eventually creating a band called Lovejoy that also experienced success in and of itself. While he had been fairly popular before doing much of these things, it's undeniable that his involvement in the SMP along with his music ventures launched him into new levels of fame that few are able to achieve, with his career showing no sign of slowing down. But that leads us to today's main topic. It all started with a single live stream that took place last month. But before we get any deeper in today's video, I do want to announce that I actually created my own company, 1UP, which is a skincare line. Now you might be asking yourself why I got into skincare, and the answer to that is I created a product that no one else was really making. How it all started was after I lost a bunch of weight and put on some muscle, I was looking for other ways to self-improve, and a skincare regimen was my next step. But what I soon realized is the skincare industry makes it all really confusing. There are a lot of products out there that have BS ingredients that don't work, if not make your skin worse, because they're just cheap fillers to throw in. And what it comes down to is there's about a list of a dozen ingredients that actually do something to help with your skin. So what I did was found someone that had 30 years of experience in the space to help me design a product that combined all the things that are actually proven to work help with your skin and put it into one bottle so you just apply it once a day and move on with your life. Applying this to your face once a day will help moisturize it, protect it from sun damage, help prevent wrinkles, and overall just make your skin a lot healthier now and in the future. So if you're a person that's looking to improve themselves, I think 1UP would be a good place to begin since it's so simple. And for anyone that wants to purchase it right now, they'll get 25% off their order during the soft launch, which is a discount I do not plan on offering in the future. So click the link down below to try 1UP for yourself. Anyway, back to the video. The real controversy involving Wilbur started on February 21st when Shelby Grace, also known as Shubble, made a tweet stating that she was talking about something very serious on her Twitch channel. When people tuned in, she would start discussing a negative experience she had with her ex-partner, with her reason for doing so being that she wanted to prevent others from making the same relationship mistakes she did. I have always liked telling my different experiences that I've had in dating because it feels important to me to share what I've learned and maybe help other people to not make the same mistakes that I have before. I'm 30, I've dated a lot, I've gone on a lot of dates, I keep trying, and it's unfortunate that a lot of my dating history, uh, there were a lot of bad people that tried to manipulate or control me. Throughout this broadcast, the internet personality made numerous claims about her former boyfriends, including him compulsively lying and backtracking on numerous occasions. He was also emotionally distant and refused to prioritize their relationship over things like fame and money, while simultaneously providing that support to other people in his life. She would also describe that he would live in a state of constant filth as well as having a serious ant infestation while expecting her to do all the cleanup work. All in all, this painted a very troubling picture, with her summarizing the relationship as abusive. One of the more serious accusations was one of physical abuse, with Shelby claiming that he would often bite her extremely hard, despite establishing a safe word and having numerous discussions with him about it behind the scenes, he would allegedly continue to do as he pleased even when it was obvious she was uncomfortable, and getting physically injured on a regular basis. But his biting escalated to a point where I was covered in bruises all over my arms, and they hurt, and he would poke at them for fun, and he even felt so comfortable showing off my bruises that he had caused to our friends because he would bite me so hard by accident. By accident? 
He would even joke that it looked like he abused me. While she initially didn't name the person, it didn't take long for people to begin putting together the pieces. One user on Reddit actually went through the allegations point by point, and cross-referenced them with publicly available knowledge about Wilbur Soot, such as the ant infestation and him being generally unsanitary. Posts like these spread all across social media, with many beginning to question if the once-beloved creator was really as wholesome as they initially thought. It wouldn't be long before Wilbur himself would respond, releasing an official statement on February 27th. In it, he admitted to being, quote, slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish, and claimed that he was now attending therapy to try and overcome his issues. Interestingly, while he only vaguely responded to the other allegations, he did provide a definitive statement about his alleged biting, claiming that he interpreted their interactions as being completely consensual revealing he had evidence to back up this claim, but said he would not release the proof out of respect for Shelby's privacy. This begs the question of whether he actually has proof or he's just claiming that he does in an effort to save face. Keep in mind, Shelby did not release any screenshots proving her side of events when she initially went public. So one would expect the accused to defend themselves if they genuinely thought they were innocent of at least some of the claims being made against them. Regardless, many on Twitter would go on to point out he was doing himself no favors by not releasing the evidence, with the majority of onlookers looking at his admittance to being a bad boyfriend as him being completely guilty of everything. The immediate responses to this were not positive at all, with many in the replies being incredibly critical. Shelby herself would soon hit back at his claims of innocence, tweeting, I could not have imagined what I would wake up to today. My ex pretending he thought I enjoyed being hurt, and all of my friends immediately coming to my defense. The support has brought me to tears. I don't even know what to say. I'll be back. I'll just be taking a little time. And for the record, I don't accept the apology. Numerous high-profile individuals that had previously been associated with a Minecrafter-turned-music star came out in support of Shelby. This included people such as Ranbu, Tommy Innit, Tubbo, and seemingly anyone else who had been associated with him. Quackity, another associate of Wilbur, would also later come out and state that he had been kicked out of the QSMP, most likely due to these accusations. This next topic is very difficult for me to process, and it's an extremely sensitive thing, and I was waiting for the correct time for me, but that can wait no longer. And I need to let everyone know that Wilbur is no longer a part of the QSMP. In a somewhat ironic turn of events, Dream himself also responded directly to Wilbur's statement, calling it dishonest and accusing him of downplaying the abuse he had subjected his ex-girlfriend to. Because the masked Minecrafter seemingly hasn't learned to stay out of this drama, it resulted in Twitter users once again dredging up his past, making jokes at Dream's expense, and calling him a predator. Of course, allegations such as these would be damaging to any creator regardless of who they were. But there are a few factors as to why this was especially damaging to Wilbur. As mentioned earlier, he was a prominent member of the Dream SMP, with many of the fans he drew in because of this also being obsessive stands. As we have discussed in previous videos, audiences like these tend to be much more emotionally driven than other communities, with them being more likely to turn their backs at any hint of controversy. In addition to this, some of the songs he's released have been centered around bad relationship experiences, aging rather poorly given the circumstances. Even before this, he was very public about his romantic struggles with a tweet from 2019 revealing his current profile picture is a photo of him after getting dumped by a former girlfriend. My Twitch slash YouTube profile picture is an edited photo of me, eight hours after being dumped by my first girlfriend drinking at a Halloween party. I felt like it summed me up. If you couldn't tell, Wilbur hammed up his persona to appeal to a very specific demographic. To be fair, while he certainly never catered to his stands in the same way that people like Dream did, he undoubtedly pandered to them nonetheless, leading many to wonder what would be his next move. People also began to dig up numerous clips of Wilbur that they found disturbing, including one where he appears to harshly berate his friend Tommy Innit. What the f*** are you what? doing? What the f I'm gonna you shoot you, bitch! What? What? How did- How what? did you get my wallet? What? What? It's not that- it's funny! Are you f***ing me? Shit! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
I'm sorry, no, I genuinely don't. Sorry, you got all my fans. There were 17,000 people watching that. This was soon proven to be a planned comedy bit done for Tommy's channel and was not supposed to be taken seriously, as pointed out in the community notes underneath the original tweet. However, other clips also began to surface of Wilbur biting people, with many believing this was definitive proof he was engaging in physical abuse. No, 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 no. This is not content. <laughs> ow, ow. Look, no, I can't. I'm not sure. Ah. While the overwhelming majority of onlookers automatically assumed Wilbur was guilty, not everyone was in agreement. There were numerous individuals in the commentary community who expressed a desire for more definitive evidence. YouTuber Turkey Tom created a video on his channel going over the incident, giving a brief summary of events thus far and providing his own opinions, with his conclusion being that there was not enough proof either way to delegitimize either Wilbur or Shelby's claims. Minecraft YouTuber Mr. Epic then tweeted, This is a really good video by Turkey Tom. Summarizes how I view the situation as well. It's really scary how quickly people jump to conclusions when no concrete evidence is presented, especially when it's career slash life ruining situations. Some of Shelby's defenders took great issue with this, with one responding by saying, Wilbur admits to biting Shubble. 50 people close to him in real life. Yep, he did that, on top of doing other terrible things. You. Guys, there's not enough evidence. Tom would of course come out and defend himself against the criticism he had been receiving, tweeting, Why is it that none of these people can watch the video? LOL. I never called Shelby a liar, nor do I think she is one. I just said, Well, she said it wasn't consensual, he said it was, I don't know what to think. In addition to all this, it appears that Wilbur unmodded his Twitch staff and unbanned numerous others, alongside some very bizarre behavior with it being unclear as to why he felt the need to do so. Shelby once again responded to Wilbur directly on March 1st, once again reaffirming the allegations were true calling Wilbur's apology self-centered, and stated that there was no DMs or messages that proved that their interactions were consensual as Wilbur had claimed in a statement. She would also respond to the criticism she had been receiving from detractors on her alt account, tweeting, If you see a timeline going around trying to disprove me, they base their timeline on an inaccurate assumption of when I last spoke to my ex. Proceed to call me a liar or bad at math for a 30-year-old, and then claim they're neutral. Block them and move on. Her last official statement on the matter was posted on March 3rd, with her condemning anyone who made death threats and calling for an end to the toxicity of the debate surrounding her. With neither her nor her alleged abuser providing any definitive proof either way, it's difficult to say where the truth lies. But the countless condemnations from former friends has painted a very bleak picture at the bare minimum of Mr. Soot. Since these claims have been made public, he has lost nearly 200,000 subscribers on YouTube alone. It's hard to know whether or not he'll make a more definitive response to the situation and try to salvage his career, or if he will simply leave the internet altogether. But regardless of the outcome, it's undeniable that this whole ordeal has been a massive blow to his reputation in the broader online space, with most characterizing him as a manipulative abuser, with fans alike turning their backs on yet another dream associate.